Ever since he did his thing in Tennessee, you could just tell that AJ was different. But now in Philly, he's become a superstar. And I think he has what it takes to be a legend when it's all said and done. Hurts going deep for AJ Brown. Out of Starkville, Mississippi, Arthur Jawan Brown grew up as a standout in any sport that he played as simply an athletic phenom. Growing up, AJ took a liking to football and baseball as he dominated both at Starkville High. Many forget the good old Arthur was a two-sport stud because he played well enough to make both the Under Armour All-American football and baseball games as a senior. Interestingly enough, AJ and Kyler Murray are the only two dudes to play in both, so I guess it just proves that he was built different. Anyways, as a senior at Starkville, AJ put up nearly 1,413 touchdowns as an All-State wide receiver, and upon that, a consensus four-star prospect out of high school. Arthur was pretty much a top 50 recruit and a top 10 wide receiver. So as you could guess, there were quite a few suitors from Auburn to Bama and Cali. But once the hometown Ole Miss Rebels got involved, AJ decided to commit to play both baseball and football with them. Remember how I talked about all the baseball stuff? Well, out of college, the MLB will draft some of the top prospects. So funny enough, the San Diego Padres selected AJ in the 19th round, and he ended up signing with them as almost a backup plan just in case the whole football thing didn't work out. Going into his first season with the Rebels, AJ was looking to make an impact from the very get-go, and although it's usually a fever dream, my man put up an impressive over 400 and two touchdowns as a freshman. Usually most players sit out the first year with a red shirt, but AJ is a bit diffy than most other studs, even the absolutely dominant DK Metcalf, who somehow only put up two catches for 13 yards, although both of which went for touchdowns. Kelly, jump ball! Nonetheless, AJ proved that he was that guy early on at Ole Miss, and so going into his sophomore season, I'm sure my man was looking to take it to another level, and let's just say he did his thing once again. Nine time, throws on the run, in traffic, AJ Brown! Even though DK put up over 607 touchdowns, it didn't keep AJ from not just taking his production up level, but to a different galaxy with over 1,211 touchdowns through the year. Not too shabby for any stud out there, but even more impressive for someone who was only in their second year, as the performance earned AJ first team All-SEC honors and the Connerly Trophy for being the best college football player in the state of Mississippi. Considering how well AJ played so early on, you would think it would make it difficult for him to take his production up a notch as a junior. But surprisingly enough, his over 1,300 yards and 6 touchdowns solidified him as one of the best wide receivers in not just the SEC, but college football as a whole. Following a stellar few years with the Rebels, it wasn't much of a shock that AJ declared for the NFL draft after the end of the season. And in the second round, the good old Tennessee Titans decided to select the stud. The Tennessee Titans select AJ Brown, wide receiver. Sorry to stop the video, but since you're here, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, and comment down below who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. But anyways, back to the video. AJ was taken by Tennessee in the second round at 51st overall, just 13 picks ahead of his insanely jacked teammate in DK, who ended up going to the good old Seattle Seahawks. Considering how early on AJ was able to have an impact at Ole Miss, I'm sure he was looking to do the same thing on the next level. And even though it's much more difficult in the league, since the Titans didn't have all that much depth at a receiver, he was able to do his thing. Tannehill lets it rip downfield, one on one, caught over the shoulder! AJ made his debut against Cleveland in the season opener with exactly 100 yards on only three catches. A pretty impressive start once again for good old Arthur, but even more wild is the fact that he was able to maintain that success the rest of the year as he was able to put up over 1,008 touchdowns as only a rookie. <laughs> Usually it takes a decent bit of time and parsley for even the best players to gain any momentum considering the jump in competition from college to the league. But in AJ's case, he pretty much just bypassed all of that with a near identical stat line to what he did at Ole Miss. Even DK was able to do his thing out there in Seattle with exactly 900 yards and 7 touchdowns with the Seahawks. Smith launching for Metcalf! Oh, what a catch by DK Metcalf! Anyways, AJ was pretty damn good as a rookie, and in fact good enough to put up a thousand in only his first year with the Titans, which once again proved that he was a stud no matter what team he was on. Even though AJ had an impressive rookie season, and upon that had already shown that he could hang with some of the big dogs in the league, the fact that he wasn't on a big market team like Dallas or LA led to him getting overshadowed by fellow colleagues DK and Debo. Right now, third down and three, quick throw, what a catch! 
Samuel, highlight reel. Don't get me wrong, those two are great, and both are superstars in their own right. But I feel like people don't give AJ the kudos that he probably deserves, considering that he put up over a thousand and eight touchdowns on a team with this guy. Here's Derrick Henry trying to get the big guy going. <laughs> Nobody's gonna catch him! Well, since I've been talking quite a bit about stuff that I doubt many of you care about, let's just go on to the next season. Although AJ put up a thousand as a rookie, because of the lack of attention, there wasn't all that much hype surrounding his sophomore performance outside of Tennessee. But nonetheless, you would think it would be tough to replicate the first year's success. But just like always, AJ was on timing with nearly 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns as he was able to make his first Pro Bowl in only year two. Hell senses, gonna throw it deep, AJ Brown! Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons for AJ were not too shabby of a start for an Ole Miss stud considering that he only played 14 games in 2020, and so it seemed like the sky was the limit for what he could do in his third year with the Titans, even with Derek doing his thing on the ground. Just like the previous season, AJ dealt with injuries, but instead of knee stuff, this time it was a chest injury that he suffered midway through the year, which kept him out of three games, and upon that prevented him from a third straight 1,000-yard season, as this time he was only able to put up 850 and 5 touchdowns. Although he had been dealing with injuries for back-to-back -back years, it seemed like AJ was going to stay in Tennessee for quite some time. But then, let's go! Uh, how about this trade <laughs> that just went down? Turns out the Titans management didn't want to shell out the cash that AJ wanted, and I guess Philly was a-okay with it as they signed him to a four-year, $100 million deal as Tennessee was able to get back a first and third round pick. <laughs> To say that the move was out of nowhere is a massive understatement because even people within the organization were shocked from Vrabel all the way down to the players since it didn't seem like something that would ever happen considering just how well AJ had been playing. But then again, nothing really is what it seems. After an impressive turnaround behind MVP candidate Jalen Hurts and the pickup of Devontae Smith the year before, adding AJ made the Eagles offense seem as dangerous as any in the league. So since they were able to go 9-8 and eight the previous season and now had one of the most talented younger players in the league lining up opposite the super underrated Devontae Smith, let's just say they were able to take it to another level. Hurts pulls it, throws it to Brown with a step in the secondary, he will score! Behind some unreal play by the one and only Jalen Hurts, AJ not only played as well as he did at Tennessee or even Ole miss, but the very best of his entire career, as his nearly 1,511 touchdowns was able to earn him a spot on yet another Pro Bowl, and this time his first All-Pro team, as the Eagles win an impressive 14-3. Hurts again all day, going deep for the end zone, he's got it! The 14-3 record and number one seed are all the more impressive when you realize that two of the losses were when Jalen was injured, and in turn makes the Eagles seem dangerous as ever going into the playoffs. <laughs> Both AJ and Devontae were dominant all year, and so even though AJ put up nearly 1,500, Devontae was still able to do his thing with nearly 1,207 touchdowns in only a second year, as he was dominant in his own right. Runs out of the pocket, looking for a deep Devontae Smith, one-hander! Considering that Jalen, AJ, and Devontae were all doing their thing, it wasn't much of a surprise that they made easy work of Daniel Jones and the Giants, as they were able to smack them 31-7, even though AJ only had three catches for 22 yards. <laughs> But for AJ, it didn't matter that Philly destroyed New York, as he was mad at his production. And so even though Philly was able to destroy San Francisco, he once again was frustrated after underperforming. Considering the lackluster production so far this playoff run, I'm sure AJ is looking to demolish the Kansas City secondary. And you know what? I think he could do his thing considering how well he's been able to play all season. But hey, you never know. What do you guys think about AJ Brown? Is he one of the best receivers in the league? Or is he always just going to be overshadowed by studs like Justin and Tyreek? Comment down below your thoughts. AJ Brown is one of the most underrated yet talented players in football, so I think the future for him in Philly is about as bright as it gets. And hey, let's just say a Super Bowl wouldn't be too shabby. And in 10, oh boy, deep ball it is, and it is caught for the touchdown! Thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, and comment down below with stuff you want next. But anyway, see you all soon, and peace out. I'm the biggest bird, I'm the biggest bird